Each department has a role to play in business development and growth efforts, not just the sales department. Corporations continue to invest in technology solutions to power their business. Productivity should really be soaring in the United States. So why is it just not happening? Welcome to the Inside Forbes Council's podcast. Each episode shares transformative insights and advice from members of Forbes Councils, a group of invitation-only communities for successful executives and entrepreneurs. This is Inside Forbes Councils. Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 22 of the Inside Forbes Councils podcast. My name is Stephen Ganoza. Today on the show, we're going to look at business development and aligning business development goals with operational goals. Now, it may be tempting to think of business development as its own objective or its own department, but really, business development has to be thought of in broader terms, perhaps even as broad as the entire company. Greg Carlene, CEO of Horizon Trust. The process of aligning company goals along with the business development efforts starts with the culture of the organization. Starting with the mindset of all employees, from the top down to the bottom, making sure everyone understands the mission and its objectives, which the organization wishes to achieve. Transparency is also very key. In the planning phase, everyone needs to feel like they have a voice. When an organization comes together in the planning phase, buy-in has a greater chance of happening. Analyze as a team where you are now and where you want to go. Each department has a role to play in business development and growth efforts, not just the sales department. The sales department works hand-in-hand with the marketing department. The marketing department develops the collateral the sales team needs to deliver that new client or that new strategic relationship and partnership. The operations department has the job and key responsibility to deliver on everything the sales department has promised. When operations can't deliver, sales die. Customer service plays the role of retention. When there is a problem, customer service is on the front line of defense on behalf of the organization. So every department and person has an important part to play in business development, so every voice must be heard. So business development then isn't just one person's job, it's essentially the entire company coming together to support whatever the sales team is selling. Productivity becomes paramount then in achieving success. Alexander Rinke, CEO and co-founder of Salinas. On today's podcast, I want to talk about three topics. Productivity trends, why businesses have a productivity challenge, and how improved process transparency and the intelligent application of transformation can help them address the productivity challenge. Examining the statistics by the US Department of Labor, the overall improvement in US worker productivity has remained alarmingly moderate. US productivity grew at an average rate of 1.3%, just 1.3%, between 2007 and 2017. That was significantly lower than the 2.7% average pace of growth between 2000 and 2007. In October of 2018, St. Louis Federal Reserve Bank President James Bullard stated that better than expected growth rates in the US are set to dissolve unless productivity advances, which could, in theory, be achieved through investments and technology. So why haven't the technological advancements we have seen in the last decade already produced much more dramatic productivity gains? Corporations continue to invest in technology solutions to power their business. Productivity should really be soaring in the United States. So why is it just not happening? First of all, for a long time, we were able to achieve productivity growth without actually getting better. The model is called outsourcing, and the idea is to do the same thing, but find cheaper labor to do it. Due to equalizing labor rates globally, which by the way is a good thing for humanity, productivity won't accelerate through cheaper labor. We have to get better at how we do things. 
Investments in technology over the last decade promised to make us better, but have failed to deliver the desired impact. So where do we go from here and how can we work better? As an example, many organizations struggle to transform the key processes that power their business. And too many initiatives don't even make an impact on productivity. Take an order to cash process, for example. One key part of every order to cash process is credit management. So deciding which orders to approve and which orders to deny. We have seen businesses in the B2B space put systems in place that repeatedly deny a customer credit only to run a manual credit check and ultimately approve the transaction. And this can happen tens of thousands of times annually with repeat customers. Of course, credit checks serve an important function, but you shouldn't need to run credit checks on repeat customers thousands of times. In a perfect world, you should only have to decide once that you want to do business with the customer and then work to make the experience as simple as possible. In the same example, the manual rework of checking and rechecking could be costing your business millions of dollars every year. Unproductive processes drain resources, damage profits, hurt working capital, and slow your business's growth. For many of these cases, upgrading your existing technology stack won't make any difference. You need to take a different approach and just start to operate more intelligently. IDC's Worldwide Semi-Annual Digital Transformation Spending Guide forecasts global spending on digital transformation will reach $2 trillion by 2020. But how do we make sure we don't repeat the mistakes from last decade and end up spending this money only to achieve marginal productivity gains? Although we live in a digitized era, when it comes to transformation initiatives, decisions are still based on consulting intents, manual, time-consuming assessments and recommendations that are inherently biased. How do you want to truly change your company if you don't even understand what's going on? Process discovery, process analytics, and technology that recommends intelligent actions disrupt the transformation playbook and provide you with a factual and objective methodology to drive change that sticks. So if your sales team is acting without the support of a streamlined and productive operations team, then any business development efforts may not succeed. Your sales team may be great, but the whole company needs to be aligned in order to deliver on what's being sold. I'd like to thank Greg Carlene and Alexander Rinke for sharing their thoughts today. We'll see you on the next episode. This has been Inside Forbes Councils. Please be sure to subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you're a member of the Forbes Councils and would like to participate in our podcast series, please email your member concierge. If you're interested in joining a Forbes Council, learn more at ForbesCouncils.com.